Hi. In this video, I'll go over 2010 AMC 8's problems 16 through 20, starting off with problem 16. A square and a circle have the same area. What is the ratio of the side length of the square to the radius of the circle? So let's roughly sketch ourselves a circle. And let's set the area of um, the radius of the circle to equal 1. Okay, so the area of a circle is pi r squared. So since we have that the radius of the circle is 1, the area equals pi. Okay, now we have that the area of the circle and the square are the same. And the area of a square is equal to side squared or s squared. So now we can um, replace pi with a to get pi equals s squared. Solving for s, we get that s is equal to the square root of pi. And then lastly, we're asked to find the ratio of the side length of the square to the radius of the circle, which is the square root of pi over 1. Simplifying, we get that this is just the square root of pi, which is b. Okay. Problem 17. The diagram shows an octagon consisting of 10 unit squares. The portion below the line PQ is a unit square and a triangle with a base of 5. If the line PQ bisects the area of the octagon, what is the ratio of XQ over QY? Okay. So we have that PQ bisects the area, which means it halves the area. And since the octagon is 10 unit squares. That means the top is 5 and the bottom is also 5. And then to turn this into a regular um, rectangle, I'm going to move this square over there. Okay. So in doing that, I take away 1 unit square from the 5 unit squares. So that means now, once I move that, the bottom will have 4 and the top will have 6. So I'm going to add on the unit square over here, and then erase the one on the bottom. Okay, so now all we have to do is solve for the two heights, x, q, and q, y. We have the base is equal to 5, so that means 4 is equal to... 5 times the height that we want to find out divided by 2. Solving for h, 8 is equal to 5h, and h is equal to 8 fifths. Now, 8 fifths is the unit square plus qy. So that means if we want to find the length of qy, all we have to do is subtract the unit square, which is equal to 1. So 8 fifths minus 1 is equal to 3 fifths. This um, qy is equal to 3 fifths. If qy is equal to 3 fifths, that means xq is equal to 2 fifths. And then we want the ratio of xq to qy, which is 2 fifths all over 3 fifths. Canceling the 5s out, we get that xq over qy is equal to two-thirds. Our answer is d. Okay, problem 18. A decorative window is made up of a rectangle with semicircles on either end. The ratio of ad to ab is 3 to 2, and ab is 30 inches. What is the ratio of the area of the rectangle to the combined areas of the semicircles? Okay, so we're given that AD to AB is 3 to 2. And AB is 30. So we can set up a proportion to find AD. So we have that AD is equal, um, 3 halves is equal to AD over 30. Okay, so cross multiplying, we have that 2AD is equal to 90 
dividing 2 from both sides, we get that AD is equal to 45. Okay, so now we can find the area of the rectangle, which is just 45 times 30, which is 1350. And then now um, all we have to find is the combined areas of the semicircles, which is just a full circle. So the radius, since the diameter is 30, it's 15. And that means the area of the circle is pi 125. And then um, finally, it's asking for the area of the rectangle, um, the ratio of the area of the rectangle to the combined area of the semicircles, which is just 1350 to pi over 120, pi to 125. Dividing 125 from both sides, we get that the final ratio is 6 to pi. So our answer is C. Okay, problem 19. The two circles pictured have the same center C. Chord AD is tangent to the inner circle at B. AC is 10, and the chord AD has length 16. What is the area between the two circles? Okay, so we have that AD is tangent to the inner circle B, and AC is equal to 10. And chord AD is equal to 16. So if this entire length is equal to 16, that means AB and BD are equal to 8. And now, all we have to do is to solve for the height of the triangle. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we get that 100 is equal to 64 plus b squared. So b is equal to 6. So now we have to find the area between the two circles, which is just the larger circle subtracting the smaller circle. The larger circle has the radius of 10, so that means that it has the area of 100 pi. The smaller circle has the height of the triangle, which is 6, so it has the height of 30, um, it has the area of 36 pi. So that means the area between both circles is 64 pi. Our answer is C. Okay, final problem for this video, problem 20. In a room, two-fifths of the people are wearing gloves, and three-fourths of the people are wearing hats. What is the minimum number of people in the room wearing both a hat and a glove? Okay, so by the wording of the problem and the question, that means that there are going to be a certain number of people that overlap, meaning they wear both a hat and a glove. So what we can do is um, we can add both of our fractions together. So two-fifths of the people I'm going to set as P are equal to gloves. And then three-fourths of P are wearing hats. So um, we can get a common denominator. So we'll get 4 twentieths p, and then we want to add these to see how many extra people we get. And then the other one is 15 twentieths p. Adding these two fractions together, oops, not 4, 8. Adding these two fractions together, we get that 23 over 20 people are total. So we see that 23 over 20, so that means we have 3 out of 20 people. So 3 of these people are now wearing both a hat plus a glove. So that means there are 3 people wearing both a hat and a glove, meaning our answer is A.